What is going on, FTG community? Welcome back to the channel. Today is the 4th of July, and what better else to do than to open up a Modern Masters 2017 booster box, which was given to me a couple of days ago as an early birthday present. Yesterday is my birthday, the 4th of July. So happy birthday, America, and happy birthday to me. Hope you guys enjoy this. Kick your feet up on the table and relax wherever you are, whatever you're doing. I hope you have are actually having a lot of fun like I will be in a second here. Let's go ahead and open up the seal here and let's get going with this box. So a couple of things I want to talk to you guys about real quick while I'm opening this up. Um, I do have a giveaway going on right now for three um, bundle boxes and each one of those bundle boxes are going to be having 500 cards in it. And that is kind of like how I'm doing things in order to like spread the wealth. You know, it's in order for me to actually give you guys a bit of an opportunity to play and get some cards in your collection and perhaps build a couple decks for those of you who are new. So it's going to be basically three of these bundles. Let me just give you a quick look here. Three of these and each one of these is going to have 500 cards in it. And um, the giveaway, I believe, is going to be over next Saturday, this Saturday coming up. So if you guys want to get into the giveaway, all you have to do is be a public subscriber of my channel, of course. Uh, like the video, uh, leave one comment on the video, which I'm going to link it down underneath. And you have to make sure that you live in the United States of America. That's the only way I can do that because these things are really, really heavy. And I cannot... Um, actually ship it overseas at this point because it's again it will be way too expensive for me to ship it over okay so i apologize for those of you who are watching my channel internationally but that's just the way it works when you're a one man deal here so i'm going to go ahead and put all the packs here and let's see what we can pull out of this box this is something i've been really really excited for for the past couple of days and i just could not wait any longer and of course we had to find a special day to open it and what else uh, to uh, what other special thing can we look for other than my birthday and the 4th of July, right? It's, it's such a cool, cool way to open up some packs. So, all right, here we go. Our all the packs in here. We have exactly the same amount of each pack art. Make sure that there's nothing in the back of the box because sometimes a um, little pack here and there will manage its way in the back, but nothing else is there. So let's just go ahead and open up all 24 of these packs here. Oops, I'm messing up the camera here. I apologize. Try not to make you guys dizzy. There we go. All right, guys, perfect. So um, let's get going. We're not going to go through all the cards here. We're just going to go right to the uncommons and then we'll look at the goodies all the way in the back. So here we have a Familiar's Roos, Vampire Nighthawk, Tower Gargoyle. And the first card is going to be an Abrupt Decay. There you go. A black and a uh, forest. Abrupt Decay can be countered by spells or abilities. Destroy target non-line permanent with converted mana cost 3 or less. And the first foil is going to be a Tandem Lookout. So we'll go ahead and put all the nice pulls right here in the back. And a Zombie Token. So, um, yeah guys, definitely go ahead and enter the giveaway if you guys want to. Um, you know, we can always use more cards in our collection you can never have enough so go ahead and check it out go gary signet teleportal thornscape battle mage and a blade splicer three mana when a blade splicer enters the battlefield create a three three colorless golem artifact creature token golem creatures you control have first strike and it's a one one and the foil is going to be a gift of orzoa orzova Okay, so let's see. What are we, we going to get? I want to definitely get a Tarmogoyf. So if I can get a Tarmogoyf today for my birthday, that would be completely awesome, um, even if we don't get anything else. But Tarmogoyf is the only thing I think I'm missing from this set. Um, maybe uh, I have a Lily, I think. I don't know. I have to go back and double check my collection. Definitely Tarmogoyf is the, the, the ultimate pull here, though. Thornscape Battle Mage and a uh, Graph Digger's Cage. One, it's an artifact. Creature cards can enter the battlefield from graveyards or libraries. Players can cast cards in graveyards or libraries. And a teleportal foil. Cool. Alrighty. Yeah, so um, 
Let me know what you guys are doing today, guys. It's the 4th of July. It's it's a day to enjoy with the family, going out and, and do some fun activities. Certainly we'll be doing that very, very soon, myself with my family. And it's just a cool, cool way to celebrate America's birthday. Here we go with a Corpse Knazier and a Boris Regner. So three red or three white for a creature minotaur wizard. Whenever the Reckoner is a dealt damage, it deals damage damage to a target creature or player. All right. And a grizzly spectacle. Beautiful foil. All right. Let's go ahead and set that up here. All right. So, so far, I think this is going to be the second box we open in the channel for Modern Masters, and it probably will be the last one. Um, you know, there's really no point of me opening any more of these. I don't really play Modern that much. And here is a Damnation, very, very nice. There's a great pull right there. That's another card I've been looking for. So it's a two colorless and two black. Destroy all creatures, they cannot be regenerated. So very, very cool. Always wanted to get this card and finally got it. So there's a nice pull right there. And the foil is a Golgari Rotworm. So yeah, I don't really play Modern that much. Um, I'm still trying to learn the game, but um, there's no point in me just buying booster boxes just to chase a couple of cards. So if I do get another one eventually, it will just be on my seal collection and eventually maybe down down the road we'll open them up some more. So here's a Miss, Miss Meadow Witch, a Rakdos Signet, Corpse Kanazir again, and a Mind Shatter. X and two black for a target player discards X cards at random. Alrighty then. A Damnation, I think, so far is the best card that we've had. I'm sorry, guys. I got some glue in my hands. I'm working on a little bit of a background for the Magic the Gathering side of things here on the channel. So I am building some stuff. And, you know, has, it utilizes some glue, so that's why I have all kinds of glue in my hand. I apologize for that. Here, Graceful ret uh, Reprive. And an angel. All right, here we go. So, here's a grill signet. Golgari germination. And arachnus spider. And a Olivia Voldaren. There's the first mythic of the box. Um, okay, mythic. I mean, not really the greatest, but it's all right. We'll go ahead and put that over here. And a Savage Lands foil. Alrighty then. Here we go. Let's see what this pack brings us. So far, we've like I said, we got one one obviously good hit over here, the Damnation. I'm looking for a Blood Moon. That'll be really cool. Vampire Nighthawk. Wing Splicer. And Pyromancer Ascension. So for two mana. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell that has the same name as a card in your graveyard, you may put a quest counter on a pyroman Pyromancer asc Ascension. If I can read today. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell while well, Pyromancer has two or more quest counters on it, you may copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the new copy. All right. And here's the Wake the Reflections. Alrighty then. Come on, Tamargoyf. Celestia Signet. Thunderstorm Trumpeteer. Soul Ransom. Any Broodmate Dragon. So that is a very expensive card to cast with flying. And then when he enters the battlefield, create a 4 4 dragon creature with flying. Alright. Blade Splicer. And that's a, a, a foil rare. Okay, cool. Let's continue on here. So as I said before, guys, I'm trying to um, definitely more, more, make more videos of Magic. I know uh, I've been concentrating a lot on Pokemon, but as I said before, I do cover both games in the channel, and Pokemon just seems to be throwing a lot of products out there like very, very quickly and a lot at the same time. So I, it's kind of hard to cover both. And oh my god, <laughs> yes, we got the Tarmogoyf. 
Oh my god, thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much for that birthday present. Awesome! There's a Tarmogoyf, guys. Oh man, that is awesome. That is so cool. That I don't, I honestly don't even care what I get anymore in this box. I cannot believe it got there. Holy crap. So there is a Tarmogoyf. That is awesome. I don't even have to, I mean, just, just. I'm just just sit there and pause the video and look at it because that's what I'm doing right now. I'm sorry if I'm taking your time, but I have to I have to look at this card. This is my very first Hermagoyf, and I cannot believe he got there. That is crazy. Um, wow. All right, so I'm done. That is the ultimate birthday present for for myself. Um, that is crazy. Wow. Awesome. 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 Urban Evolution. Civic Signet, Savage Lands, and Summoning Trap. Six, and that's a lot of text to read, so we'll just take a look at it like that. And a Gideon's Lawkeeper. Foil. That is crazy, guys. We got a Tarmogoyf. Wow. That is that is so cool. Not as expensive as it used to be, and it's completely fine. Um, not really... A big fan of cards being super super expensive but that just just to have a time ago if it's it's awesome I, i'm done might of old corosa moroi master splicer and call of the herd three mana create three three elephant creature token and then you can flash back it for four all right how are you lancer holy moly guys i can't believe that was in that box only two mythics, but that's okay. That that is the mythic you want to have. That is the mythic you definitely want to have. Um, I'm going to summarize all the pulls towards the end, so don't worry. I'll 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 show you guys. Oh man, here I grow war chant and misty rainforest. Look at that, a fetchy, nice. Man, this box is awesome. Uh, Birdmate dragon, and that's a foil rare. The second foil rare of the box. Man, this box is on fire. Definitely, definitely awesome. Well, I gotta tell you guys, that is probably the best birthday present I've gotten ever. I mean, honestly, that that's, you know, it, at least when it comes to, like, the TCG kind of stuff, you know, uh, that's just been awesome. Opportunity. Master Splice. We've, like, this is, like, the fourth one we've gotten so far. And Evil Twin, of course, because you always have to have an Evil Twin in every single one of these boxes. And Dyna Charge. Very beautiful foiling there. Oh, man. Now, if we can get a uh, Snapcaster or a Lily, that would be really, really awesome. But if we don't, it's okay. I'm not going to complain. Trust me. With the pulls that we've gotten so far. Awesome. Arcane Sanctum. Vital Splicer. And a Cruel Ultimatum. So that is a very expensive again. So that's a five, seven mana. And there you go. And a Baluth Cage Trap. All right. Let's pick this up a little bit because I know I wasted a little bit of time just looking at that Tarmogoyf. So let's pick it up. Seaside Citadel. Azure Mage. Moroi again. And a Cyclonic Rift. That's not a bad card right there. So two mana for instant. Return target non-line permanent. You don't control to its owner's hand. And you can overload it for seven. And strength in numbers. Alrighty. So we have two, four, uh, seven packs after this. And that'll be the end of the video here. Wall of Denial. Borrow Signet. Sprouting Thrynax and a Stoic Angel. Another one of those cards you always get. And there you go, Flying Vigilance. Players can untap more than one creature during their untap un un steps. Okay, and a Rakdos Gilgate. Already can't believe we got a Tarmogoyf, man. That is awesome. Uh, I was just thinking about that too. I'm like, please, please let me get one. Wall of Denial, Borrow Signet, 
Wing Splicer and a Death's Shadow. For one mana, Death's Shadow gets minus one, minus X, minus X, where X is your life total, and it's a 13, 13. Okay, here we go. Five more packs after this. Will we get some last pack magic here and get something cool towards the end? That'll be really cool. Dimir Signet, Terminate, and a Goblin Guide. There you go. That's a good pull right there. One mana. Haste, whenever the Goblin Guide attacks, the defending player reveals a top card of his or her library. If it's a land card, that player puts it into his or her hand. It's a 2-2. Two -two. Very good. That's a nice card. Urban Evolution. I'm telling you, this, this box is this pretty pretty good. Pretty good for sure. Um, only one fetch land so far, but it's okay. Even if you just got the one Tarmogoyf and got nothing else, like I said before, I'll be completely okay with this. Serum Visions. Not a bad card right there either. Vital Splicer. Grow War Chant. And a Sever the Bloodline. Four... Exile target creature and all other creatures with the same name as that creature, and you can flash back it for seven. And a crippling chill. All right, three more packs after this. All right, here we go. Gore Clan Rampager. Is it Signet? Another Savage Lands. And Scavenging Ooze. Again, another one of those cards you always get. Here's a 2 for a 2-2, two, two, and you can exile it and do what it says there. And then Spell Pierce. All right, two more packs after this. All right, here we go with a Banishing Stroke. Vithian Stinger. Sunhom Gilmate. And a Mizium Mortars, too. Mizium Mortars deals 4 damage to target creature you don't control, and you can overload it for 6. And Traitorious Instinct. Alright. One more pack after this. We get something cool in the last pack. That would be really cool. Here's a Bronze Beak Moa. Orso of, uh, Orso of Signet, Goblin Assault, and a Simic Sky Swallower. 7 mana, Flying Trample. This creature can be target of spells or abilities, and it's a 6-6. Six, six. And a Celestia Gilgate. Last pack of the box here, guys. And then we'll take a look at these pools. Alright, here we go. Ancient Grutch, Vithian Stinger, Putrefy, and no freaking way. Are you freaking kidding me right now? Liliana of the Veil, vale, last pack. We called it, guys. It was the last pack magic here. Holy crap, this box. And what is our foil? The Vampire Nighthawk. Wow, this box, dude. This box is just crazy. Tarmogoyf and Lily from this box. Oh my gosh. That is that is so cool. That is crazy, man. And then, uh, like if that wasn't even enough, we got a goblin guide. We got one fetchy right here, which is awesome. I mean, a damnation. Guys, this is this is just what an awesome present this was. Can't 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 believe it. All right, guys. Well, here it is, right in front of your eyes. So you know I didn't make this up. Alrighty. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Enjoy your Fourth of July. If you haven't left a comment on the uh, giveaway video, please do so. If you like. Um, if you like this video, of course, give me a like. If you did not like it, please give me a dislike and let me know what I can do better. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so because, as you guys know, I will be doing a lot of giveaways coming up now with uh, the new set, Our Devastation. I've started to order some boxes already, so please stay tuned and definitely be aware of what's going on. Uh, as always, guys, 
Thank you so much for watching and have a great holiday and I'll talk to you soon. Goodbye.